Psalm 97. The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. All worshipers of images are put to shame, who make their boast in worthless idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice. Because of your judgments, O Lord, for you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. O you who love the Lord, hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. How small God can seem, how big evil can appear. In this fallen world, it is often difficult to believe that God is as great as we believe him to be. Psalms such as this one reorient our hearts as we are brought back to a big vision of God. You, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. This is a God who consumes his enemies like fire and before whom the mountains are like melting wax candles. Is your vision of God diminishing? Do you find the ceiling of your view of his glory lowering? Confess your small-mindedness to God and perhaps also to a trusted Christian friend. Consider who he is. Glory in him again. Ponder him in the mornings. As you do so, do you realize what is happening? Not only is he preserving your life as each day goes by, light is being sown for you. In other words, your final radiance and glory is taking root as you seek God each day. And one day, your resplendence will dazzle the angels. In his essay, The Weight of Glory, C.S. Lewis put it this way, The dullest and most uninteresting person you can talk to may one day be a creature which, if you saw it now, you would be strongly tempted to worship. Lewis goes on to say, There are no ordinary people. You have never talked to a mere mortal. Thank you.